And in the impact segment tonight, as we've been reporting, President Obama is mounting a counteroffensive to try to boost his standing in the job approval polls. Of course, Obama supporters all over the country are rooting for him. And one of those supporters is Bill Maher, whom I talked with yesterday. So, Mar, why do you think President Obama is having so much trouble in the uh, job <laughs> approval polls? I mean, what, what, what's driving him down? Well, first of all, he's not having that much trouble historically. He's about where Clinton and Reagan were a little higher than where they were in their first administration. Um, but it's partly the fault of uh, the uh, opposition. There's a lot of disinformation out there. I'm not saying where it comes from. And the, the lion's share of the fault goes to the Democrats. They do not brag about their accomplishments. But there's something more in play here, I think. And I just wondered if you had noticed anything about the president's presentation or the way he goes about his job that you might point to. Well, obviously people think he's a little bloodless. I happen to like that in the president. I, I, I like a president who uses his brain and not his faith or his heart or his gut as the former president did. Um, I, I kind of like that in our president. But, you know, again, they don't brag about their accomplishments. And when you downplay the economy, all of the dissatisfaction with them is about the economy. Now, well, of course, a lot of it is racially... You think it, well, it's racially... I mean, you you, you're on that bandwagon of if you, if you don't like them, you're a racist. Then you can't be there. Marty, that's not you. You can't be there. Oh. Oh, so you don't think it's racially involved at all? You know, he was um, elected not, by 53 percent of the of the public, and when he took office, his approval was over for, 70. Come on, come on. But Bill, but Bill, just just for example, I mean, the tea beggars—they're the ones who are so upset about the debt. Most of the debt came from Bush. That's just a fact. And under Bush. Cheney said it, deficits don't matter. Nobody was angry about the deficit because when they didn't it was know President about Bush. It. They, well, look, President Obama has spent more money... They didn't know about it. No, they didn't. They, it wasn't a big issue as it is now. He's That's the biggest spending president in the history of the Republic, Mar. You gotta know that, man. Of course he... Of course, well, first of all, that's not, a, that's not a true statement. He's not the biggest spender. Bush was the biggest spender. No, Obama uh, is the biggest. The budget is bigger money, than Bush's most, budget. Most, most of the money that has been sent has been trying to dig us out of the hole that Bush put us in. We're running up trillion dollars of debt. We got Obamacare is going to add more to that. And I'm not any better off, and the economy's not any better off. So it's all a waste. He's not doing it. That, and I'm not saying that's the right point of view. I'm saying that's what's inside many Americans' brains. People are impatient, of course. Economies take a while to turn around, and no president can do it overnight. Not this one, not the former one, not Ronald Reagan. Well, but the reality of the situation well, now is you have a president that you like. I think you support Obama, still. Okay, we have him on the rocks now. He's going to lose the House, probably maybe lose the Senate. Therefore, he's going to lose his power except for veto. And there's a reason why. It's not that Americans are racist. It's not that Americans are impatient. It's that they want, after almost two years, some improvement, and we haven't seen it. Well, we've seen a lot of improvement. Uh, we stop torturing people. We can have stem cell research again. Uh, Health care, you know, uh, people can't be thrown out of a hospital. Uh, p uh, kids can stay on their parents' rolls until they're 26. You, you can't right. and, uh, and those, throw a child off for okay. pre-existing conditions. I'm not saying there haven't been any Back. good things the president has done, but you're wrong about the torture deal, by the way. The Obama administration does practice rendition, and you know that people yeah, are being sent in. Okay, right. So that's off the chart. Okay, let's go into the final part of the argument here. Do you believe that conservative individuals are just bad people? Are they just nasty people, racist people, the Tea Party, all terrible? I mean, is that what your is that your outlook? No, not entirely. People are individuals, but I do think in general, yes, they're more selfish and they're more uh, likely to advocate policies that uh, serve their own interests and don't think about anybody else. You were, when I first met you and doing the ABC show, not nearly as liberal as you are today. How did that happen? What, what did well, the, the, the country changed. You the, didn't change. The people the country who were, the, basically, yes. I mean, at, at some point in the last 20 years, 
the left moved to the center, and the right moved into a mental institution. I mean, there used to be ideologi ideological differences that were understandable, and there used to be moderate Republicans. That has gone away. I mean, the Republican Party now is just a bunch of religious lunatics, flat earthers, and Civil War reenactors. So I don't think it was me who changed so much. All right, so you're in with the... Uh all-American crew like Michael Moore and these guys who just love their country and uh, look if you can't see the extremism on both sides I'm, I'm flabbergasted there really is an extremism on both sides that, that's a canard there is it there's, extremism there's no extremism on the left right. there's the not left. that much extreme there is some but <laughs> not, not nothing to talk about not really there's no movement like the Tea Party movement. All right. there are no, so there are no people move saying on, we should get rid move of move on the Daily Coast those people they're just normal kind of people. Yeah, they are normal kind of people. Right. Why, well, you think liberals are not normal no, people? I didn't say liberals. That's a far-left crew. All right, now tomorrow, we're going to have part two of the interview where Mar says, you are a dunce if you believe in God. <laughs> you got to love them. And by the way, we will post the entire Mar interview, all 20 minutes of it, after tomorrow's broadcast on foxnews.com, unedited. Plenty more ahead as the factor moves along.